Thì uh, Say something So Raymond knows you're here I'm just uh, Hey I'm on here to uh, talk about the eucalyptus tree briefly. This will be a brief video as I'm about to, uh, I'm going to strain. Hey Lucy, hey Thomas. I'm just going to strain a tincture I made from a eucalyptus leaves. And so... I'm making this for a record of my uh, building an apothecary. Here's what the leaf looks like. It's from a eucalyptus tree that I found in West Pelzer, South Carolina, riding my bike uh, on the back roads. And it was uh, actually cut down in someone's front yard. And they were out in the yard one day, and I asked them about it. They cut the tree down, and uh, this came up from the roots. Uh, there was a bunch of new growth, and he let me take some leaf, and I dried them out and storing them in glass jars. Anyways, about uh, 62 days ago, I put a bunch of leaves in a mason jar, and um, I poured some 100-proof vodka over the leaves, and every day I shook them. And so what it did was it extracted the oil, the mind and the um, consciousness of the eucalyptus tree, pulled it out away from the body or the matter, the physical matter of the leaf. And so today, being a Friday, I figured it's a good day to work with this plant because this plant corresponds with the planet Venus. If you speak French, you know that um, you say Friday in French is Vendredi, which means Venus, because Venus is a planetary ruler of Fridays. And also with this plant, it has similar aspects as far as the energy of this plant goes. Anyways, um... The benefits of this plant, you know, um, hi, Elizabeth, hi, Stephen, Paul. Um, so when I was young, we'd go to my grandma's house in, uh, on the east side of Cleveland, Ohio, in Euclid, Ohio. And she always, in, her, in the dining room uh, credenza drawer, she had a bunch of... Um, Hall's mentholiptus, you know, and it was like candy for me, but that's actually from the eucalyptus tree, you know, um, if you've ever used tea tree oil on a wound, I know one time I got a, and I still have a scar from it on the back of my hand, I dropped my motorcycle and I, as I was falling, I tried to pick it up last like instinct, I put my hand in between the handlebar in the road I was on and I got a big abrasion back here I don't know there's still a scar right there but that got infected because I was camping in the National Forest in New Mexico and I was able to put tea tree oil on there it had a staph infection and the tea tree oil which is another name for eucalyptus oil it got rid of that infection like pretty much in a matter of a few hours so it fights bacterial infections yeah and um it's good for your respiratory you know um if you've ever used like the uh fix vapo rub anyways uses of eucalyptus and benefits it boosts rep respiratory health um, strengthens your immune system, which I jotted down some notes today to make sure I didn't forget. I got six points. 
And uh, I accidentally wrote immune system as immune. So it's ammunition for your, uh, to, you know, for your health. Abstract. Um, protect skin health. Ease tension and anxiety. Um, lowers your blood sugar. Okay. So, you know, I try to be mindful of that aspect when I'm like out on a walk or riding my bicycle. One time I ate some berries that lowered my blood sugar. I wasn't aware of that aspect and I found out the hard way. It was really hard to walk home. I should have had an apple with me or something to bring it back up, but um, eliminates another thing that the eucalyptus plant helps with is, is eliminate uh, inflammation. So those are six things that it's beneficial for. There's plenty more. If you look online, you can find all. Of, there's so many plants and so uh, so much beneficial medicine out there just in the wild i'm sure i'll spend the rest of my life learning because it's innumerable and, and i love that because it just feels good to learn more about our environment and our health our bodies mind spirit so i'm gonna show y'all let me see if i can get this camera situated for this I'm just going to take a minute and share with y'all how simple this is. It's really not a ton of work. You just have to be consistent and you can have a good uh a good yield with just a little bit of effort. I'm going to have more medicine than I can use for my life because when it's this strong one drop, you really have to dilute it. It's too strong, actually. See, I'm learning as I go. I'm making these too strong. So I got an empty cord jar here. I got the tincture that I just opened after having it closed for 63 days, I think now, June 15th. And um, With the leaves in there, it measures, it looks like I have um, about, about 28 ounces, a little less than a quart of complete matter. Anyways, I got this plastic filter. Someday I'll get a, uh, some, something better. Maybe glass would be good. All I do is pour it off the tincture and I'll let gravity do its thing, you know. I'll let it sit there, try to get it balanced. I'll just let it sit there and drip off for a while because I want as much out of there as I can. So um, what I did was I, I filled the jar with leaves this time I use dried leaves and here's one thing I've recently learned is that um when I use dried leaves as opposed to fresh leaves it's actually stronger and um, I should only be filling it a quarter of the way full but I filled it pretty close to the top and um, I poured the vodka it made, I made sure no leaves were sticking up above the liquid, and then um, I closed it up. I used a plastic lid because the solvent I used, uh, 100 proof vodka, um, will react with a metal lid, and you'll get um, corrosion and contaminants in there. So I got these plastic lids, and then every day I woke up, and uh, first thing I did when I get out of bed is I got a little shelf over here with my tinctures and I'd pick them up and give them a gentle like 32 shakes in each hand and then in the evening I'd do it once more and that just uh, gets things moving 
And um, I did that every day for, I think it was 62 or 60. Anyway, since whenever June 15th is when I started these ones. And so also, I think there's definitely some kind of mysterious relationship with the planets and the stars. And I generally like to do this at night when I start them at least. And on the new moon is seem to be with my like intuition usually i'm inspired to do this on the new moon at around 1 a.m um 1 a.m in the the alpha meridian i think that's when earth is pointed forward through space in the direction of travel so um anyways I'm gonna I started a YouTube channel to collect these on off of my like herbalist page or whatever my gardener guardian of the peace page Rabone Creek um, and so I'm just gonna start putting these videos up there for record and hopefully people can learn how much abundance is really around us with these wild plants and I've seen some serious like benefits myself and in others with natural medicine and whatnot so hopefully this will help someone out there anyways there's still like one drip coming off the tincture let me turn this and let you see it's like turned to a slow drip now And uh, it's like one every five seconds. Give it a little help. Okay, so here's what the leaves look like. They're not as uh, silver. They're kind of... A yellowish deep green anyhow oh the other thing I was gonna mention about eucalyptus um now this is something that I've read I haven't taken the time I don't have the means or the know-how but I'd like to try it someday but um and I don't fully comprehend it but I'm 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 uh, gonna look into it in the future but you know how spinach has iron um you hear that it's really common knowledge spinach has iron in it whatever it's like in an ionic form and this is something i haven't yet fully comprehended though the iron in spinach and how plants can pick up minerals but uh eucalyptus has gold so i've read when in my all the time I've spent researching it is that um, this plant has has gold in it and so um there's that the other thing about the eucalyptus tree is that it really moves water it pulls water from the ground and puts it back into the air so if you have anywhere around your house that's kind of swampy and and wet and you want to dry it out or if maybe your house is built on a piece of land that hasn't been graded properly so the water doesn't quite run off it well um, you would benefit from putting a eucalyptus tree there because it does that it pulls like hundreds of gallons of water up through its roots and puts it back into the air transpirational and I mean some trees will pull the water out of the ground and filter it and put it back like the willow tree yeah it'll filter it but it doesn't really evaporate it off as much as the eucalyptus tree so um anyways thanks y'all for like watching and i hope that um you enjoyed the little technical tidbits that I know about eucalyptus if anyone else has anything that I didn't 
say or I don't know about, please uh, feel free to type it in the comments because I got them going here real time. I can read. And you're welcome, uh, lovely Lucy. I'm glad uh, to spread a little bit of awareness of something that's really awesome. You know, it just smells so good. Anyways, you know, aromatherapy. It's uh, the spirit, the spirit of the matter. Yeah. So it's one of those that I'll put in the bath. You know, um, I was talking about on my other video about these little mojo bags that I had a whole um, yards and yards of this cloth. And I just sat here for a few days on end making these little mojo bags out of them for like tea bags because you can reuse them. You don't have to throw them out. But I make gallon size ones and then I make a huge amount of tea, but I dump it in the bath. You know, like the, uh, not to jump off talk topic, but the juniper tree or the cedar tree, that's my favorite one for me. It's like really healing. Um, anyways, I guess that's about it. And um, I was going to do one with the juniper tincture yesterday, but I didn't get to it. I went for a long bike ride, and uh, the heat kind of kind of took the energy out of me. And I came home and took a nap and didn't wake up till around. 11 p.m. my time and so I kind of flaked on yesterday's juniper tincture but we still got it sitting over here so next Thursday I'll do that one on Sunday I have a pint of uh, dandelion flowers that are ready to be strained and I'm gonna try to get to that on Sunday and so trying to keep it aligned and work with these according to the um hours and days of the week and uh, they're trying to um, pronounce the significance of the uh, astrometry astrometrical astrometry is the word that I like to use for the correspondences of us plants stars all these vibes that we live in anyways i hope you all have a good evening it's evening here if it's not there i hope you have a good day morning etc be well be kind be nice to each other love yourself and share that with your neighbors peace out